has an outstanding program. We started with Coach Fisher and Coach Dutcher a long time ago, and Dave Velasquez have been there together a long time, and their other staff and their players. So um, to beat an outstanding team from an outstanding program is a big win for us. Uh, I thought our defense was great, and uh, we played very hard. Uh, we packed our toughness on the bus down here to Anaheim. We uh, didn't pack our free throw shooting, but uh, we'll take a big win here. I'm uh, very proud of these young men next to us. Oh, okay, here we go. Third time's the trial. All right. So um, I feel like yes and no, just because um, we felt like we could beat this team. They're a good team. Um, I know uh, Vegas picked them to win, but I, we felt like we're confident that we could uh, we could win. Um, so in a sense, no, because we felt like we could beat them. But yes, winning this tournament was big for us. So I think it's uh, gets the momentum going. Um, I'm proud of our team beating like such a good opponent like SCSU. We knew they weren't going to be like an easy game, and so um, I'm proud of us. Yeah, I'd say the same kind of stuff. You know, you can't help but notice coming into the games, the underdog, especially being a ranked team. Uh, so it's good, you know, um, you know, you know down-the-road kind of win for us on the West Coast. And, uh, you know, starting off with a 5-0, um, you know, it's a huge start in the season. Uh, big confidence boost for everybody. Drew, what were you doing to get Matt Bradley? You had a lot of success with him with your night. What was sort of your plan tonight? Uh, yeah, you know we you know we know how he plays. Obviously, he's a really efficient scorer. Um, we saw Mikhail last year and the last few years, and um, you know now he's here. And uh, you know I, I just tried to you know play him. I guess you know the opposite of how he likes to play. I gave him a little space, and uh, you know kind of tried to whenever he shot it, just contest as much as I can, but don't fall for his pump fakes. And uh, you know, thank, thankfully I had you know teammates to really help me out. You know we loaded up a lot on him. We knew the personnel really well, and. You know, give credit to our, you know, assistant coach, Coach Morris, who, you know, was on staff at SDSU last year with a great scout. Um, so, you know, everything just, you know, worked worked our way, and, uh, you know, we, we all really loaded up on their best player. Well, San Diego State is one of the best defensive teams in the country the last five, ten years. Uh, so the last couple of years, we've been right up there as well. I think we were top five or six in the country last year, uh, and this year we're pretty good as well. So uh, we knew it would be two very good defensive teams. Uh, we have shot blocking length. We have length on the perimeter. We have um, a lot of toughness, and our guards are very tough, and, and our big guys uh, did a great job. So uh, we knew we could defend them. Uh, but we, uh, we knew it would be a, probably a low-scoring game. And if we would have made some free throws and, and a couple open shots, it might have been a little different. But uh, give them credit because uh, we had to earn everything that we got tonight. And so, yeah, to answer your question, we were hoping we could pull away with our scoring. And, and I think early in the second half, we made three in a row to start the second half. And, and then made a couple of threes late to, to put the game out of reach. Uh, so... Uh, but the game was uh, still in doubt with, with four minutes left. It was still about eight to ten point game. Coach, uh, are you beyond where you thought you'd be defensively at this stage of the season? Are we beyond defensively where we thought we'd be this, this stage of the season? No. Well, we expect uh, we expect this out of our players. Uh, this is uh, if, if you don't defend, you don't play, and you have to play hard. And you have to you play defense and. Um, we, we forgive you for missing free throws or turning the ball over or uh, uh, or missing a couple shots here or there. You let, let our guys play through mistakes in the offensive end, but but we don't let them play through many mistakes in the defensive end or, or if they're not tough. So, uh, no, we're right where we need to be. Uh, we have to clean up some things, uh, but but I thought tonight we gave we, we, we played 40 minutes. A, a very, we played very hard for 40 minutes. Is there a rebound that Isaiah can't get? A rebound that Isaiah can't get? Well, I thought Isaiah, Chavez, and Josh Morgan. I mean, what? Josh had a couple of huge offensive rebounds, at, uh, and then Isaiah. Isaiah is a great offensive and defensive rebounder, and he has those long arms. He's got he's got the uh, the body, and he, he anticipates where the ball goes. So, so watching him the last couple of games, I think he did 11 last night, 12 tonight. That's pretty impressive. Andy, where's Andy? Where's Drew grown defensively to be a guy that you can count on to to guard the other play, the other team's best player? But we used to spell Drew R-E-W. There was no D in his name. We used to call him Rue Peterson. 
But now we, we call him Drew because uh, he held Hall last night to uh, one for 12 from St. Joe's. He's their best player, and tonight he did a great job again. So he, he's, uh, he's learned how, how to uh, use his length. He's uh, learned how to anticipate the drives, as you saw tonight. I thought he did a great job with his body position. And then he closed down and was able to uh, challenge shots, uh, as he just mentioned. So we're very proud of Drew because uh, he uh, has certainly improved a ton. Coach, you, uh, Drew just mentioned Jay Morris. Um, how much of an advantage is that having a guy who just was on their staff as recently as, as August? Uh, and what kinds of things did he tell you about them that helped him? Well, Coach Morris has done an outstanding job. He he's, uh, was on their staff for three years, so he knew the tendencies pretty well, knew the plays, and uh, uh, he did a great job preparing our team on short notice. It was nice to uh, – we gave him that scout because we knew we had a potential to play San Diego State. And so in the last uh, few days he was preparing and then watched the game last night. So it was a, a benefit because he knew their personnel as well as their play play calls and what they were trying to do. And, uh, and uh, so – uh, but but he's uh, he does a great job for all scouts. So he, he's a, a great basketball mind. He, he relates terrifically with players, and he's a great recruiter. So we're really excited to have him on our staff. Isaiah, you scored 10 of the team's 22 in the first half. Were you kind of taking charge in the beginning of the game? Um, I feel like uh, it was just I just played based off the flow of the game. Um, tonight I feel like. Uh, they had a couple smaller defenders on me, so I knew I could get it down low. Um, and my teammates uh, also just believed in me and coach as well, just to uh, put me in those positions to score. Um, I was seven for 19, so like not the prettiest, but we got it done. Um, and so like, I'm proud of my teammates and my coach, and then you know, like as me as well. And just some of the things to tighten up and work on, I think, as a collective group. And um, I think carrying over like like this aggression and just taking advantage of mismatches going forward um, will help me and in, in, in the team as well. Well, our team's 53 and 17 the last two years, so I'd say yes. Okay, uh, right, go ahead. Um, I heard that uh, well, this is your first double double since February, I think, and I heard that your brother is uh, going to be back in the court tomorrow after his elbow. Uh, no, nah, definitely. Uh, uh, I'm grateful that he's back. Um, I'm grateful to get my uh, first double over this season. Um, hopefully, I keep this a trend. Um, but I, I'm not pressed. Um, I just hope I can just keep helping our team win and keep on going. And then I wish the Cavs success as well. Drew, you came out hot in the second half with uh, I think six points and an assist. What was that like? Yeah, no, it was nice. It's, um, you know, I'm like Isaiah, you know, he's so unselfish. I just try and play off my teammates. Um, you know, I haven't been shooting too well these past few games. And, you know, I got a little confidence, which is huge. Uh, the end there, I knocked out my first three-pointer of the season, which, uh, you know, I've been waiting for. Um, but, no, yeah, I mean, you know, my, my teammates trust me. And, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful for that. And, you know, I try to play off guys. And, you know, we're such an unselfish team. And, you know, it really shows, especially against, you know, such a good defensive team. Um, you know, they're heavy in the gaps, and we really got to move the ball. And uh, being able to come out like that um, after kind of a slow scoring start for both teams, and uh, I just thought it was great. You know, our team looked really good offensively tonight.